Hi everyone, welcome back to Curious With. I am Dr. Mosina. In today's video, we will learn Potomac horse fever. That is a bacterial disease in horses. So let's move straight to the topic. First of all, let's see the synonyms of Potomac horse fever. Equine monocytic ehrlichiosis, ditch fever, Shasta river crud, equine ehrlichial colitis. So these are the synonyms of Potomac horse fever, which is caused by the bacterium Neorickettsia ristisi. This disease is an acute enterocolitis syndrome producing mild colic, fever and diarrhea in horses of all ages and abortion in pregnant mares. The disease is seen in spring, summer and early fall and is associated with pastures bordering creeks or rivers. We will see the cause of this later. The disease is seen more in spring, summer and early fall and also associated with pastures bordering creeks or rivers. Coming to the etiology and pathogenesis, the causative agent is Neorickettsia ristisi, a gram-negative obligate in intracellular bacterium with a tropism for monocytes. You can see the intracellular bacterium in monocytes here. Initial morphologic studies of this organism isolated from cell culture as well as serologic responses caused this bacterium to be assigned to the genus Ehrlichia. So first it was thought to be in the genus Ehrlichia after initial morphological studies and serological responses. However, DNA analysis have shown Neorickettsia ristisi is most closely related to Neorickettsia helmindica, the agent of salmon poisoning in dogs and Ehrlichia senetsu, a disease of people in Japan. The organism is not visible in monocytes in blood films from clinical cases in contrast to anaplasma phagocytophilum which is readily identifiable in granulocytes of infected hosts. A neorickettsia ristisi has been identified in freshwater snails and isolated from traumatoids released from snails. So this explains the reason why this disease is more common in pastures which are close to rivers or creeks because the organism Neorickettsia ristisi has been identified in freshwater snails and isolated from trematodes released from snails. Neorickettsia ristisi DNA was also detected in 13 species of immature and adult flies like caddis flies, may flies, damsel flies, dragon flies and stone flies. You can see the uh, different flies in this picture. Transmission studies using Neorickettsia ristisi infected caddis flies have reproduced the clinical disease. One route of exposure is believed to be inadvertent ingestion of hashed aquatic insects that carry Neorickettsia ristisi in the metacircurial stage of a trematode. Now let's see the life cycle of Potomac horse fever. The Neorickettsia ristisi is the agent of the disease. It infects the trematodes or flukes and the flukes carrying the organism multiply in snails and the organism move to aquatic insects such as mayfly and caddis flies and horses ingest the adult insects. Also, uh, they, they ingest infected fluke larvae and Potomac horse fever develop in horses. 
The incubation period is approximately 10 to 18 days. The causative organism is present in feces of experimentally infected horses. Clinically ill horses are not contagious and can be housed with susceptible horses. Additional studies are needed to determine the exact role of vector and helmet host in the complex maintenance cycle of neurochitia restricti. Coming to the clinical findings and lesions. The clinical features of PHF was uh, typified initially by mild depression and anorexia followed by fever of 102 to 107 degree Fahrenheit. At this stage, intestinal sounds may be decreased. Within 24 to 48 hours, a moderate to severe diarrhea with feces ranging in consistency from that usually seen in cows to artery develops in approximately 60% of affected horses. The onset of diarrhea is often accompanied by mild abdominal discomfort and followed by that there are severe signs in some horses like sepsis and dehydration. Clinical signs can be distinguishable from those of salmonella and other infectious causes of enterocolitis. Laminitis can supervene as a severe complication of PHF in 20 to 30 percentage of affected horses. Coming to the hematologic findings, they vary in early stage of PHF from leukopenia characterized by neutropenia and lymphopenia and thrombocytopenia to a normal hemogram despite evidence of systemic illness. A common finding in cases of P PHF is marked leukocytosis which is normally seen within a few days of onset. Also, the disease may be present with all or many other combinations of uh, hematologic findings. Several months after the clinical disease in pregnant mares, abortion due to fetal infection with this organism may occur and experimentally, pregnant mares infected at 100 to 160 days of gestation abort at 190 to 250 days of gestation. Abortion is accompanied by placentitis and retained placenta. Fetal lesions include colitis, peripotal hepatitis and lymphoid hyperplasia of mesenteric lymph nodes and spleen. Necropsy finding in non-pregnant horses with enterocolitis are non-specific and reveal diffuse inflammation mainly in the large intestines. Coming to the diagnosis of PHF, a provisional diagnosis of PHF often is based on the presence of typical clinical signs and on seasonal and geographic occurrence of the disease. Definitive diagnosis should be based on isolation or identification of neurochitia rusticity from blood or feces of infected horses by cell culture or PCR. Serologic setting is of limited value as a diagnostic tool and because of high prevalence of false positive titers, interpretation of indirect fluorescent antibody tests in individual horses is difficult and rising paired titers can be helpful. Isolation of the agent in cell culture, although possible, is time consuming and not routinely available in many diagnostic laboratories. To enhance the chances of detection of neurochitia rusticity, the assay should be performed both in blood and fecal sample because the presence of organism in blood and feces may not necessarily coincide. Coming to treatment, horses with PHF can be treated successfully with oxytetracycline 6.6 mg per kilogram IV BID if given early in the clinical course of the disease. A response to treatment is usually seen within 12 hours associated with a drop in rectal temperature followed by improvement in demenor, appetite and borborygmal sounds. If therapy is begun early, Clinical signs frequently resolved by the third day of treatment and generally antimicrobial therapy is for no more than 5 days and in animals that exhibit signs of enterocolitis, fluids and NSAIDs should be administered.
Laminitis is more common than in other causes of enterocolitis and if it develops, it is usually severe and often refractory to treatment. The overall case fatality rate is 5 to 30 percentage in PHF. Coming to prevention, several inactivated whole cell vaccines based on the uh, same strain of Neurocatia Rhestisi are commercially available. Although vaccination has been reported to protect 70% of experimentally infected ponies, it has been marginally protective in the field. Vaccine failure has been attributed to antigenic and genomic heterogeneity, het heterogeneity among the more than 14 different stains of Neurocatia rusticae isolated from naturally occurring cases. And vaccine failure also due to lack of antibody protection at the site of exposure. Minimizing insect ingestion in stable hoses by turning off barn lights at night which normally attract the insects has been suggested and no uh, zoonotic risk is known for PHF. Before winding up, let's see the key points once again. Potomac horse fever is an acute enterocolitis syndrome producing mild colic fever and diarrhea in horses of all ages as well as abortion in pregnant mares. Causative agent is neurocatia rusticae. Infection of enterocytes of small and large intestine result in acute colitis, one of the principal clinical signs of PHF. And disease is seen in spring, summer and early fall and associated with pastures in uh, near rivers or creeks. The epidemiology of PHF has been shown to involve a trematode vector and sporadic disease caused by this organism has been reported in dogs and cats. Cattle appear to be resistant to infection. Real-time PCR assay within two hour uh, with, uh, with that allow detection of neurocatia rusticae within two hour is much more feasible test for routine diagnosis of PHF. So that's all about Potomac horse fever. If this video is useful and informative for you, please like it and share it with your friends and comment your suggestion. If you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. I will be uploading at least one video every week. So see you soon. Thank you all.